starting to get really hot. Oh my god. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So yeah, um, I, I really, I didn't know how was, I was going to approach this episode just because, like I said, we create our shepherds and there's no, there's really no way to, for me to say this is who shepherd is because there's so many options to shepherd. Is he still a specter? Well, it depends on what you did. Is he good or is he bad? Is he neutral? It, it all depends on the person. There's really no set shepherd. But I like that. I, I really, I really like that. And I think that is going to really make Mass Effect 3 a great experience, a very emotional experience. Because if it is going to be a lot about Shepard, like his internal struggle, what he's going through, and the final battle, the final showdown with so many big characters, with the elusive man, with the Reapers, and, and just coming to terms with his friends, his relationships, what's going to happen there, who's he going to lose, his reaction to it. It's going to be really, really good. And just because, and it's going to be even more because we pretty much, we pretty much are Shepard. We created him. He's our Shepard. The other day I was thinking about something. Um, one of my subscribers was talking about this. I can't remember what we were talking about. I think he said something. It was probably on the Elusive Man Mass Effect Talks in the comments. Somebody said, how are you so sure, or how could you be so sure, how could you say so, uh, how could you be so sure that Cerberus is indoctrinated in Mass Effect 3? Because I've said that Bioware said that Cerberus was indoctrinated. He also mentioned something about Cerberus, I mean, about Bioware saying that this could be like a red herring type of thing and um, they could be misleading us like kind of telling us a little piece of the truth and not fully like what if only part of Cerberus is indoctrinated or because the way that we know that Cerberus is indoctrinated is because in the demo Shepard says um, because Cerber because they're indoctrinated when they're talking about Cerberus. But how does he know that they're really d indoctrinated? And I started to think, I was like, that would be crazy if Bioware made us think one thing. They're not lying to us. They're just giving us a little pieces, little pieces of information and we're putting it all together because that's what we do. Um, and we're, we're saying, we're coming up with theories and it's almost like we're believing them and I think what if Bioware is actually making us believe one thing with the little pieces of information that they're giving us and then when we play the game it's going to completely turn it on its head and like everybody's going to be like like completely didn't like they didn't even expect it I was like oh my god what if the elusive man has been the good guy all along. Like, what if he's not indoctrinated? What if he really, truly is fighting for humanity and fighting against the Reapers? What if he knows that Shepard is a danger? That if Shepard gets taken by the Reapers, he's going to be used as the worst weapon. And he's like, take Shepard out no matter what. Because he's like, he, he is the worst weapon that the Reapers could have. So what if that's why they're going after Shepard? To, to save humanity. To prevent that from happening. I was like, whoa, wait. And while all along you're thinking that, that Cerberus wants to kill you, or the elusive man wants to kill you because he's the one indoctrinated. But what if it's the other way around? What if Shepard is going to become indoctrinated and the elusive man wants to stop that? I, I was like, that would be nuts.
I would be like, that that would that would be crazy. If it ended up turning it completely like a 180, boom, it's like that would be really that would be crazy. So I don't know. Um, that's just a little thought that I had. Uh, probably not, but <laughs> I was just thinking that Bioware is capable of doing that type of stuff. I think that would be brilliant if they did something like that, where they made us believe one thing and then just turned it completely around on us once we played the game. <laughs> I don't know. One of the things that I'm looking forward to the most is the... when it comes to Shepard, I mean like I, this is one of the things that I, I really really want to see is the, sh the, the, the showdown between the elusive man and Shepard. I want to see that scene so bad. That is probably going to be the most epic scene in a video game <laughs> ever. I could imagine it already. Oh man, could you imagine that? I mean, I, I, I said this in another video that Casey Hudson tweeted a while back saying we just filmed the most intense scenes of Mass Effect 3. And they put, a little later, he tweeted a picture Freaking Charlie. He tweeted a picture of of uh, Jennifer Hale and Mark Mir and um, Martin Sheen. So the voices of Shepard and the voice of the Elusive Man. And I was like, that was the most intense scene of the whole game. Something between Shepard and the Elusive Man. I, I can't wait to see this. That is what's killing me to find out. Whew, it's getting good. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to end it here. Uh, like I said, there's really not much that I could say about Shepard. That's not a question or a theory. Especially when it comes to the side of Shepard that we don't know. Um, when it comes to the side of Shepard that we do know, I mean, it's pretty much up to you who Shepard is. I am going to do another uh, another episode. This was another subscriber wish list. Someone is asking me to talk about something kind of related to this uh, when it comes to Shepard. So um, I will be doing another one. Another. It's not going to be a Mass Effect Talks. It's just going to be another video where I talk about uh, where I talk about Shepard. So look forward to that. It's going to be where I pretty much talk about my Shepard. Uh, so that should that should come soon. I want to vary the Mass Effect videos throughout the week though, because I don't want to be putting out all Mass Effect videos because not all my subscribers are huge Mass Effect fans like a lot of a lot of you are. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. Sorry this was late again. If you guys have anything to add, if you guys have any questions, any theories. Uh, please keep them spoiler free, by the way. If you know anything about Mass Effect 3 that is considered to be a spoiler, keep it on the down low. <laughs> Whew. Excuse me. I guess I will talk to you guys later.